What's going on guys, OPS OPSMelfisex here, and we are bringing you another edition of On Blast Gaming with Blast Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend on the Xbox One, guys. How's everybody doing out there? Um, so, yesterday we finished up the tutorial portion of the game, so today we have the luxury of starting our training with our main characters, which we chose yesterday. Um, the two main characters that we chose were Kagura and Hakumen. Now, Hakumen I'm familiar with because I've played in the previous installments of Blaze Blue with him. And I pretty much have a handle. I like playing with him. He's a very uh, counter-heavy character. And that's why I chose him. Also, Kagura is a new character to the series. Which I haven't seen in any of the Blaze Blue. I don't know if he was in the previous Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma, but he's in this one extend, and he looks like a really cool character. Um, like I said, right now those are the two characters that I chose, just because solely on, I mean Kagura basically on looks, and I've played a little with him, and he looks pretty cool. But Hakuman just because I've played with him previously. So guys, how's everybody doing? OBS Malphite Sex. Let me give a quick shout out to everybody that's here at the live stream on hitbox.tv slash Malphite Sex. Thank you for tuning in with me on the live stream at Hitbox. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watch watching this video on YouTube. Um, like I said, if you want to join the live stream and you want to get into, you know, hanging out with me and actually playing video games, come to my live stream channel which is hitbox.tv slash melfisex and that's where we do all our live streaming and while I'm live streaming obviously you can send me a game invite and we could game together so and obviously on YouTube if you don't have the luxury of watching this live on hitbox you could watch the stream ar archives on YouTube and if you're watching this on YouTube right now give me a like or leave me a comment most like most importantly I would love for you guys to leave me a comment the likes are cool I will I would appreciate obviously a thumbs up but um, more than not I actually look forward to the comments just because for me it's much more um, much more I guess valuable and exciting because I get to actually get feedback on your opinions on the game and also on the uh, videos in the stream so definitely feel free don't be shy um, I definitely look forward to replying back to your comments and um, definitely you know definitely enjoy the, uh, the feedback alright so here we are in the training menu now we're not gonna go straight to training mode I know there's a specific tutorial mode for each character that kind of trains you on the specifics. So we'll start out with Hakuman. Just to basically give us an idea of, you know, how he plays and any tips or tricks, you know what I mean? So basically his special button, which is the D button, controls all his counter attacks. So basically crouching D is low, standing D is high, well, regular attacks. Oh! 
Alright, so we're gonna start this up. So late. Never. Finally. Come, Never. Never. Okay, so that takes a little takes a little time to come out. That forward um the forward D kind of You gotta do it way in advance. Come, Dark One. This is 
I, I do it too early, that's the problem. I have to do it. There we go. It has to be right on impact, like just right. Proceed to the next lesson. Alright, so now we will go for the overdrive techniques. Hakumen's overdrive is called Kishin Demon God. Counterattacks done with Zanshin become cancelable with special attacks. Additionally, the Magatama Gouge, which is that um, circle gouge, will increase at many times its normal speed. Work in overdrive into the strategy to reduce the opponent's health to less than half. Action! You stupid! I still, I still remember most of Hakuman's well. basic, um, basic techniques. Let them clear.
so that was all of Hakuman's um, drive techniques. Let's do the special attacks. That's what I really want to know with him. Now let's go over special attacks and distortion drives. Press the F and 2 button to skip a special attack and move on to the next one. Okay. Action. Let's go into the special. All right, so half circle back light button is the crimson, which is a full dash. He's stupid. I need to cancel that from anything. Else. Stupid! For the most part, that that move cancels. You can cancel any move into that. You stupid! You stupid! You stupid! You stupid! You stupid! Six out right there. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. Excellent. Action. So this is more of a dragon punch light. So the dragon punch light does kind of a. Uh, there's like a dash. Alright, so if you do Dragon Punch Light and then press A again, it's more of an uppercut. Nice. Stupid. Let's move on to the next one. Excellent. Action. I love Hakuman's movements, man. All right, so half circle, medium. You stupid! Half circle forward medium. Beautiful. And that actually gives you a wall bounce property. So now half circle forward. That was, the last one was quarter circle forward medium. This is gonna be half circle forward heavy. Overhead into a low. What a mix up. Let's see if we can attach that with anything. You can even, you can even cancel that. The end has come. Violent win.
Wow, that's cool. If you cancel that into the um, crimson, it actually gives you a wall bounce property. Now, in midair, if we do half circle backwards light, it gives you like a... You have to be directly over the guy, huh? Move it up. Excellent. Move it on. Action. Firefly. It's gonna be half circle, medium in midair. have a dial combo or what they want to call it a uh, revolver action all right let's go to the next one excellent action Really nice little half circle backwards, heavy in midair gives you a overhead property, which is good for a uh, ground dash right there like that. Beautiful, beautiful cross up. <laughs> What? You stupid! Excellent! Action! Sit! Hear me! Sit! Sit! Burr! Sit! Burr! Sit! Burr! 
So I guess you can even, when he does the forward forward dash, he's in air a little bit, so you can actually manage to pull off the uh, overhead. But you gotta be really quick with the after your dash. So in a way, the best way to do it is, after you do the forward forward, you just bring it half circle motion backwards, and you basically do the, uh, you press the heavy in order to get the, the full overhead out. So forward, on the second forward, you just bring it around half circle. Stupid. Definitely tricky. Excellent. Action. Demonic seal. Oh wow, you could actually slash a projectile with that. So standing heavy actually defeats and has priority over projectiles. Cool stuff. Excellent. Very good to know. Action. Chase this. Chase this. Dark one. Chase this. Chase this. Nice. Chase this. Chase this. Chase this. Chase this. Excellent. Alright, so now we're going to get into the uh, distor distortion drives. So it's going to be half circle back, forward C. The end has come, Dark One. And you can actually hold the heavy attack C. And it delays the uh, delays the bringing down of the sword, as you may say. So let's just do it regular timing. I'm gonna do half circle, forward, heavy, and it's just gonna be one motion, just like that. So let's first of all let's um, create some distance. Okay, that's not creating distance actually. Uh, so this is actually a projectile, as you can see, it actually counts as a projectile. Now if you stay close to him, it's basically a hit, right, it's a slash. Now what I was talking about before is if we hold the heavy, look at that, just to really fuck around with him, right? All right. Excellent. Action. See it. All right. So now we're gonna activate the overdrive, which gives us a more powerful version of the um. Summer's Advance technique. Dark one. Unit activated. Ha! The end has pilot win. The end has pilot win. Unit activated. Ha! The end has come. Dark one. Pilot win. It doesn't do any more the damage than the regular. Dark one. Pilot win. I don't really notice that much of a difference. The end has pilot win. Other than it gives it more of a knockback effect. Unit activated. 
The end has come. Violet win. The end has come. Violet win. The projectile looks a little different. But I don't I don't notice anything really crazy Excellent. about that um I love his movement man His movement is so cool Oh, I didn't even get to do his move. Action. All right, so let me do since I didn't get to do his. Done already. Let's do his um regular super. You stupid. You stupid. You stupid. Wow. So that's like a beautiful just guard counter attack. Look at this. Ooh. All that shit. What a beauty. Now let's try. That's the regular version. Let's try the Overdrive OD version. Alright, Judgment of the Sword, right? Let's see this. What in the world is that? Oh shit! That's like his ultimate. So you basically go, you charge it, right, up and down, so you can crouch it, basically like a Sonic Boom version for any Street Fighter fan out there. 
And on up, you release the D-button, which is the special move. And that's the A button on the um, Xbox controller. And you get his ultimate out. That's um, that's a pretty sick ultimate. Alright, so we're almost done with Hakuman. Uh, let's go with strategies for the last and final lesson tutorial. And I'm guessing, you know, what we'll do is... I wanted to do some Kagura, what we'll do is we'll finish Hakumen, we'll probably do some uh, challenge, and then we'll probably take him online. That's what I'm thinking we'll do. Just because I think it works out better that way, that we just, um, we do it that way I think. Alright, so Hakuman boasts explosive power, and each of its attacks has the potential to deal incredible amounts of damage, which is the main reason I actually like Hakuman, is the fact that he could actually really deal a lot of damage. Hakuman's heat gouge is unique, the Magatama gouge, which is basically the, um, those little circles. He doesn't have a traditional meter gouge like Ragna has, you see Ragna's, you know, kind of pixel four, split up into four bars. Hakuman has about 10 circles, I think. How, let me count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So he has about 8 little circles. And each one of them attributes to his special cancelable moves. Which are, you know, when you see that logo, like the Japanese logo, that's one of his, um, you know, special moves that uses the Magatama gouge. So... The cool thing about the heat gouge for Magatama is that it's not based on attacks or well let me let me refrain from saying that. It's basically a timer. It's like a timed meter that basically at over time it just starts building. Kinda like um Fulgor and in Killer Instinct. That that kind of thing how you know those pips kinda like regenerate just on its own and if you do damage or you take damage it actually regenerates faster that's the same thing with um Hakuman so it's gonna fill up time and if it, it'll fill faster while Hakuman is on the ground as opposed to on the air as the gouge fills Magatama are stocked one at a time with a maximum of eight stocks Hakuman must consume these Magatama in order to use a special text okay so at mid-range use Back C, which is back heavy, and jump C, which is jump heavy to control space. Those are basically his um his pokes, if you would like to say. Very effective pokes for uh, Hakuman. Once the Magatama have accumulated, it's time to move into the opponent. Hakuman's Gurin Crimson Attack, which is I believe half circle back light, that actually dashes. So the cool thing about Hakuman, as we saw in the tutorial, is that his special move button, the D button, which is the A button on the Xbox, it's all counter attack driven. So once you press that button, he lets out a um, kind of like this guard look, and if he catches an attack in his guard, he counters it. So it's basically, like it says, it basically it activates it and al almost immediately activates it after the input which makes them like excellent options when the opponent attacks on wake up it's um it adds a lot to his um his metagame his wake up and his um his pressure action alright so let's try to 
go to work on this dude. He does a good pokes like his heavies. Great way to control the um the map and the stage. But look at look at the Did you see the the health that fucking takes up? And I gave him a little counter. I can keep on going all day. Excellent. All right, so that concludes the battle strategy lesson. All right, so we'll we'll move it. This can't be happening. We'll move it into challenge mode. This is farewell. And when we go into challenge mode, obviously it teaches you combos with the um, specific character. Basic attacks, combos, stuff like that. And then after that, we will take it online. And I don't know if we're going to do player lobbies or we're just going to go straight into rank. We might do player lobbies. I wanted to learn Kagura, but I'm thinking that maybe we'll take Kagura and learn him tomorrow. We'll kind of like do two separate, you know, episodes. One for Hakumen, one for Kagura. And that at least will get well acquainted with each um each fight style i think that's Please the best way select to your character all right let's go to hakuman and what color are we going to choose i think we're going to go with the famitsu color that i downloaded although that one looks nice and the all black looks pretty evil too we'll go with the famitsu color Alright, mission one. Alright, so stand in light. So it's stand in light twice. With a nice little Challenge diagonal clear. down heavy. And that's a, little, a nice little string. Action. Pretty pretty simple string combo. Mix the character up, right? Pretty simple. The frames. Nothing too difficult about the frame timing. Alright, so now let's do this one. It is um crouch and B with the half circle backwards light for the crimson, which is like that. that attack. And then we're gonna again finish it with the uh, diagonal down forward heavy. The timing's a little weird on this one. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, it's crouched. I keep on doing standing medium, it's that. Okie dokie. At least we got that cleared up. Action! 
Let's try that one again. So half circle light, forward circle medium, and then half circle heavy. Crouch and light, forward light. It's a nice little um it opens up the crouching character. So there's a little bit of a delay on that um back heavy. See, I gotta cancel the um, distortion drive much, much um, earlier on that. Um, once the heavy attacks, I gotta already have that motion pretty much done. Action! <laughs> 
Almost had that one. That um down A I gotta go up, then down A and C. 
I wait too long to fucking... I gotta get that jumpy as he's going up. I wait too long. It's not even coming out now? Yeah. 
Matter of time, man. Better. 
Second jumping down A that gets me. You can do better. You can do That fucking down A did not want to come out. That's crazy. It's always that fucking Sushi. second jumping down air. That shit does not fucking. I don't know what. You can say that. Come on, man. I at least wanted to get up to mission 10, but I'm not, I'm not going to spend that much fucking time on this. And I'm getting to the point where this is kind of like, um, I think it's annoying the shit out of me. 
I might take this online just because I'm not gonna keep on wasting time with this. I'll try the, I'll pick this up tomorrow. Because the more I keep on doing this, the more I keep on getting frustrated. And I'm not gonna fucking be able to do this. I'm not even fucking doing the, the simplest part of the combo. I'm not even fucking getting out because I'm just so frustrated. Sushi. What is it about that second jump down A that I can't get after the jump cancel? You can do better. All right, so I'm gonna give it a few more tries, and if I can't get it. Nice little three piece right there. 
So that's it for today with that. I'm not gonna keep on doing this whole fucking thing like this. We did enough of the fucking challenge modes. Um, let's take this online.
go to network mode. This will create. I don't think there's anything in the Xbox store worth buying. I think I already. I the only thing I bought in the um, Xbox store was the uh, Famitsu color pack. But everything else is pretty much. Yeah, this is the only one I got. The Famitsu additional characters. All this other bullshit is just dumb cosmetic shit for lobbies. I don't need that stuff. Why is the only one that I could choose Japan? kind of cool though like the whole different uh, match stations it's pretty cool please select your character I am Tager oh we got a Tager Hakuman alright let's go guys this is our first online player match wish me luck Guy has three matches on his belt already. Do not hold back. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Nice. That's gonna hurt. Surprised you survived this one. Rebel two action. Counter, counter, Good round, man. Hakuman, win! Rebel, three! Action! Nice elbow. Take 
Good game. I've witnessed the power of the six heroes. Tiger, win! I have no idea what was up with the gravity. Why, why he was pulling me in. I don't know if that's Tiger. I don't know what the fuck that is. We got the rematch, Please we got the run back. Your character. I'm Tager. Hakuman. Now I'm guessing with Tager, what is it? I guess he pulls me in with the gravity. Cause I was getting pulled all over the place. Do not hold back. Starts out a little laggy. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one, action. Command grab. You put a part great fight. Man. Rebel two. Action. Oh my god, heroes. the mashing of the command Jager. grab is real. Win. That mashing of the command grab is Fuck real. Me. Why do you refuse to believe in Kokonoe's cause? Shit. Oh, come on. It's unbelievable. That is unbelievable right there. My man literally fucking just on some straight shit. He was just mashing that fucking mashing that command grab, man. Can't believe I lost those.
Select your character. Hakumen. Noel Vermillion. The Wheel of Fate is turning! Rebel 1! Action! Sit. Good round, good round. I suggest you don't get up. Rebel 2. Action. Uh, Definitely doesn't have reach over me. That's not good. Good game, good game. Don't Fucking BS, man. Noel, win. Am I seriously losing to these fucking dudes yeah. that I should be fucking beating? I feel like I beat them. That's a fucking thing. I, I feel like I fucking beat them. Oh, this dude's fucking quit. Alright, fuck. This guy's just a fucking. This guy plays one fucking game and leaves. Like, seriously, man? Please select your character. Azrael! Alright, let's do this. Let's fucking do this. So far, 0-3 right now. Luck's gotta change. This is my first time going against Azrael. Six arrows. Hakuman. Mad Dog, I will sever the threads of your fate. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel 1. Action. Sit. Sit. Uh, sit. Yeah. Sufficient. Sit. Yeah. Come on. Sit. Sit. Sufficient. Yeah. Uh, sit. 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 Alright, got a little... Got a little something there. 
Akiman Win Rebel 2 Action Good run, man. Good run. That's really all you've got. Rebel three, action. Ready. Good game, man. Fuck, that was close. What? That was some fucking close shit right there. But we got our first win, boys. Our first online win against Azrael. And I'll definitely give this guy a run back. Mad Dog is a pity name. Oh, I gotta get better with Hakuman, man. He doesn't want to run back? I got an achievement for saying something. That's funny. Alright, so I got Diego6190 that wants to step up and play a little bit here. Please select your character. You know we gotta go with that Hakuman. Hakuman. Let's see what Diego wants to pick. Good luck, man. Back off. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. That's 
That was a tough one, man. She hits hard. She's a hard hitter. Good game, man. Perhaps in the Damn, that chick's so bullet hits fucking hard. The there is no guarantee she will have the answers you seek. So that's that's our second win right there. Not bad. I think we're two and three. Not playing my best game, but I'm getting in there, you know. I mean. So far, we got a little round table going on. Please People just so coming in and out. I like this. It's like a, it's like the arcade. Oh, so we're going with another bullet. I feel this. We could do another bullet match. Good luck, brother. Taking a while to load up and synchronize, huh? Let's go, step it up, step it up. Two wins, baby. Should I put a stupid message like this seat's open or something like that? Alright, we got Fancy in this place, he got 5 wins, Please he's challenging my 2 wins, and we got an Azrael. 
Gentlemen. Good luck, uh, Fancy. Damn, you got 132 matches and you're no joke right now. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel 1. Action. Yeah, obviously this dude's been playing for a while. Makes no sense that I'm gonna fucking Rebel play this match. Alright, good game, man. I mean, this dude's been playing for fucking ages already. He got 132 matches. I think he was playing this game way before it came out on the Xbox One. Yeah, I don't need to fucking have this dude. I mean, hopefully he'll just, you know. Seriously, this dude's gonna stay. I'll just stay right here. Can I change my fucking, um... Let me see. Alright, going against Ajax, HXST Terminator. Please select your character. Hakuman. This is the only way we're gonna get experience. Valken Pine are healthy. So far I'm liking this kind of player match setup. Where you kinda of like go to um you go to these different arcade setups. It really feels like the arcade. It's really cool. I guess tomorrow we'll probably try lobby matches and stuff. The Wheel of Fate is turning! Rebel 1! Action! Such power! Counter! Sit. Such a blow. Not with eyes. 
This is the fruit of 90 years. Rebel 2. Action. Nice run, man. This isn't over. Rebel 3. Action. Wow, what a fucking close match. Dude, we gotta get a rematch and I feel bad fucking winning like that. This is not your stage. Wow, Stand that shit down. was clutch, yo. But I kinda felt bad winning like that. Like he definitely I'll definitely give him a run back, without a doubt. Um Yeah, we gotta get in there. Please select your character. Yeah, that was a that was a close match. That was that was Accurate. absolutely ridiculous. Delica, a Mercury. Here goes! <laughs> the Wheel of Fate is turning! Rebel 1! Action! That was tough, man. Ha! 
Aquaman. You had a nice little fucking air combo Rebel. with her. Good around. This? Rebel 3. Action. Sick. Sorry. Sick. Here goes. Sorry. Here goes. Sick. 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 Good game, man. Damn, damn. So one thing about Hakuman that I have to really learn is that I just gotta master his pokes. Like, especially his heavy pokes, they do so much damage because they count as a counter. So if I can master that... So yeah, that's that's only that's the only thing that I have to really um manage to uh, control with Hakuman is his his space and his heavy pokes because his heavy pokes do a lot of good damage for me and they really help me out in matches and again most of it is because his heavy pokes do count as uh, as counter Please attacks. Please select your character. Yuki Terumi. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Good run, man. Hakuman, win! Rebel 2, action! What the hell's going on with the connection?
Is the connection dropping? Oh boy. The game is just paused right now. What's going on? I mean, I still got access to the pause menu, but... Alright, so we're disconnected. Let's challenge him. Fail to connect. Alright, there we go. Okay, he just left. I don't know what the hell's going on. Select your character. Ragna the Blood Edge. Hakuman. Alright, so we are going against Ragna the Blood Edge. And this might be our last game of the night, guys. Um, it's really been fun. I really want to keep on going, but I think this might be the last game. Hopefully we could end on a win. Good luck, uh... Ragna. All right, they're going at it. Let us put an end to our ever intertwining. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one, action. Sing. Chase this. Sing. 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 This will hurt. Now come. Lotus. I'm not taking advantage of my confirms at all. I should have never threw out that super. It's a waste of meter. Stupid waste of meter. Sit. 
Good game, man. Ragnar Definitely good game. I like your Ragnar a lot. Dark One, we shall sever the threads of fate once and for all. Now stand up. The... Alright, so if he was going to give me the... If he wanted a run back, I would have definitely gave him a run back. But, um... Being that he didn't want the run back, we're going to end the match, guys. We're going to end the stream, actually. Um, what can I say? What can I say, guys? We did a lot at this stream. We um, freshened up on Hakumen. Um, we did some of the um, basic tutorial. We actually completed the basic tutorial. And we also completed almost half of the challenges. And we even took it online playing the player matches obviously you guys can see the layout which is pretty cool it's like little mini kiosk so I mean if you guys have a if you guys have an Xbox one and you love fighting games especially 2d fighting games I would definitely definitely recommend this um, Oh, we were actually, we were in online lobbies, right? That's what we were? So we weren't even in play matches, we were actually doing online lobbies. What the hell is this? Let's try rolling. All right, guys. I guess we'll uh, we'll do some of this stuff. Let's go, um, let's get out of this one, because I guess no one's in this arcade here. This is so cool, though, that they have that set up like that, like you could actually go to different, um, different cities and stuff. So I'm guessing, is this the only one that's populated? That's why it's taking me to that one? Anybody here? No? Alright, so I guess it takes me to the ones that are populated. Unfortunately, these are not populated. <laughs> but this is cool that you could go to different, like, different lobbies and they look different. Um... Oh, 
Uh, my... I want him to be obviously Hawkman, right? all the Hakuman accessories right now. Alright, so we have set up our, um... We set up our... D card. Alright, guys. So, thank you very much for tuning in this... Beautiful edition. Um, blaze blue um, hopefully you guys enjoy the action hopefully I know I didn't put a great performance but we're definitely getting better and as we keep on playing we'll progress and we'll have better matches um, main thing is that we got wins um, I think we finished it with like four or five wins which is pretty cool um, thank you guys for tuning in if you guys are watching live on hitbox.tv thank you for tuning into my live stream it's um hitbox.tv slash mumpfysex if you're watching this on YouTube um, which is pretty much the uh, stream archive that I uploaded on my YouTube page um, please leave a like and a comment please leave a like if you actually enjoy the content if you don't enjoy the content um, I don't expect you to like it 
but um, if you want, definitely leave me a comment. Um, I definitely appreciate your comments much more than any like, because um, I get to interact with you, and I also get some feedback on gameplay, the video, the stream, everything on, on that sort. So I actually prefer the comments. Um, like I said, it's been OBS Melfisax representing On Blast Gaming. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys come back tomorrow. And if you're watching me on Hitbox, please hit that follow button so you can keep up to date when I do go live. Alright guys, keep on gaming. Good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.